Dino has made a lot of things seem easy. Linting, formatting, testing, interoperability with the Node ecosystem, working with TypeScript. But how about deployment? How easy is it to get Dino running in production? Well, as it turns out, pretty easy. Let's start with a look at our app. It's an app that provides us with some information about trees. So on the homepage, we get some text. On the trees route, we get some trees. And at the dynamic route, based on the trees ID, we get information about that single tree. What we wanna do now is run this locally with Docker. So we wanna make sure that Docker is installed on our machine which we can check by running Docker inside of any terminal or command prompt. If you get a list of different commands and options, this is going to let you know that this is installed. If you get an error when you run Docker, you can head over to your browser, go to docker.com, and you can download the Docker desktop application so that you can try this locally. So what we wanna do here is we want to run a command that's going to get this running locally on localhost. So we're gonna run docker run dash it to create an interactive terminal session. Then we're going to map a port. So we'll say 8,000. It's going to map port 8,000 on our local machine to port 8,000 inside of the container. Then we'll say dash v pwd colon slash my Dino project. This is the name of our directory inside of the container. Then we're going to specify a Dino version. So we'll say Dino land Dino 202. You can customize that based on what the version is when you run this particular app. And then we'll say allow network slash my Dino project. And then the name of the file, main.ts. So now when I hit enter, this should run and listen on port 8000. So now we can visit the app over here on localhost 8000. Now it's also possible to run this with a Docker config file. So we're gonna create this. And if you wanna grab this from the repo, you can. I'm just going to this here and I'm going to paste this in and I'll walk you through what these things are. We have the version. We want to expose the port that your app listens to. We're going to compile the main app so we don't have to compile it every time. And once we have that Docker file inside of our project, what we can do is run docker build-t my Dino project. Then we're going to use dot to specify the context meaning that Docker is going to look for a Docker file in the current directory. All right, great. So this has built it. This time though, we're just going to say run this project, my Dino project, and it'll be listening here on 8,000. So from here, because we've tested this locally and we've built this, we can deploy the app to our hosting provider of choice. Today, I'm going to use fly.io. If you haven't used fly before, it's awesome. It's a great way of standing up a site relatively quickly. So what we'll do is we'll install fly with curl in case you don't have it already. We're gonna use curl-l so it will follow any redirects and we'll say HTTPS fly.io slash install sh pipe sh. All right, so this will install this. What we can do is run fly off login. This is going to open up your browser. If you haven't created an account yet, you can do that here. You can sign in with GitHub or sign in with Google or with your email address and password that you've already provided. So I'll sign in with GitHub here. I will continue. And now this should have connected so I can get out of the browser and it'll tell me that I have successfully logged in. All right, so we're logged in and authorized. We have our local Docker image. Now all we need to do is launch it. So let's go ahead and launch it. We're going to type fly ctl launch. That's going to inspect the Docker file. It's going to stand up our project in the region that's closest to us and give us a little more detail. If you want to change anything about this, you can hit 
yes, that will open up a new window where you can make some tweaks, but I feel good about that. Let's go ahead and say no. I trust fly.io to do the right thing here. This is going to go through the entire process of deployment. It will create some configuration files. It will deploy on a couple different machines. Once all of this is deployed, it will give me a URL that I can visit to make sure that my project is running. So let's check this out and see if this is working. We'll pop it open in a new window. And would you look at that? This is now deployed. We have the trees welcome you. We have our different trees as JSON. And then if we wanted to check trees one, that's going to select the first item based on its ID. So with Dino, we can use Docker to containerize the app. And with Fly, we can get it running in production in just a few minutes.